Industry on the move. One of the loadless homes in Dallas saved from demolition. News Ace Sebastian Robertson reports. Look past a congested Interstate 30, looming over rush hour traffic. You'll see an old blue house. I've always wondered if it would survive and get moved someday. It represents what Dallas once was, what the city used to be. Very exciting what's going on in this neighborhood. Marie Childs is one of many residents that came to watch the historic house move away from its original location. A day that many feared would never come. Well, I've heard that there was a whole neighborhood of houses over here in the Cedars, and this, in my lifetime, has been the only one I've known of, of the big ones that's still standing. It's still standing because of Catherine Seal. And I used to daydream about this house and make up stories about the people that lived here. And Seal's on the Dallas Landmark Commission. She knew the house was in jeopardy, feared demolition, and knew she had to act quickly, especially when you consider the history. Here's the blue house in black and white, the year 1895. This picture from 1977, a house originally built by Max Rosenfield, a developer in 1872. Seal couldn't bear to see it go, warped wood, chipped paint and all. Her solution, come up with the money and buy the house outright. More than $150,000 of her own money. To be honest, my heart is racing right now and I'm beaming with pride. The house was cut into pieces and over the course of an hour was slowly prepared for the big move. People are paying attention and paying attention to the fact that this is one of the last great houses. Now the real work begins, bringing this Victorian era home to its former glory. And I think that's wonderful. In Dallas, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.